What's up guys, Mike in the building. Hey, I hope you guys had a great day today. Uh, I'm gonna go over a VSME. Uh, it's 13.35, there's still you know a few hours left in the market time. Uh, this was a 145% uh, banger return for me. Uh, you know, there's a lot of other names going on right now. Like, you know, we have GETR, uh, that's fading, right? Um, there's a couple other names, uh, SPRC, that could potentially be on a watch. Uh, Evax was a uh, was a good one. You know, if you're on that one, if if you play stocks that are trading uh, in this price range, but you know, I I really don't, so I, I stay away from them, even though there's opportunity in them. Um, I've been sticking to you know a lot cheaper names, right? Pennies, five dollars and under, things like that, right? To really truly develop the the playbook and have a full understanding why they're running, when they run, and and to really see. Uh, what dailies work best super super key okay uh the book guys the book is great uh again smash the thumbs like up uh smash the thumbs up button <laughs> thumbs like up that's funny uh, smash that button not doing that over again um you know and then there's a code here guys if you guys are not familiar with the book and you want to learn the book there's a code on there to save you a few bucks um this one was really great okay out of the gates for this one uh vsme not only was it daily that I was uh, tracking, they had bids right here, and then there's some beautiful absorption. Sellers came in here, took remove liquidity off the bid, and there was seller exhaustion, right? There's no more follow through to this. And the cool thing about this one is, is that this daily right here, you know, it doesn't have any more, you know, if it's going to make new lows, it's going to make new lows, all right? It's a very, to me, a very low risk play right the rr of this one is phenomenal because if it's going to dump and get heavy well it's going to get dumped get heavy i'm going to lose a few cents per share maybe five ten percent down upside of that is that uh you know from lows right here this was 147 percent okay that was phenomenal all right and you play something like this to me and then you got uh getr real quick you know, you don't have to fully uh, worry about something that's giving you a little 27% uh, pop, 24. Now, mind you, this is great. I'll take 24%. I look for 20 to 30% anyways, uh, depending on the daily or setup I'm trading. Um, this one was above structure too. So GETR was nice. It was above structure, pulled back, did not break that, put in some higher lows, higher lows, and then went to go and test new highs. That is great, right? Uh, to me, daily wise, on this one as a long, you know, this is nice sideways consolidation. So this is a great pre-market play, right? Understand that we're in sideways consolidation, all right? Uh, if you're up early, you'll be able to catch some of this potentially, right? Um, and if not, you're kind of just trading out in this range, and there's really not a lot of percent return if you're going to just sit here. You would have to wait, you know, uh, and to see the bigger return on this one, right? Or be up really early, have an early broker. And, and go from there, right? It all depends how you trade your, your stocks, your dailies, and things like that. But for me as a long, when I'm trading this, and I'm like, okay, well, we're up so much, right? Even right now, we're at 126%. We're up 126%, okay? Daily-wise, though, there's just so much more room to the downside. So even though uh, you can play something like this, get 20%, and then ideally you're hoping for it to retest more levels, right? Uh, but that's not always the case. Some of these just don't go two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred percent. So, you really got to play the book, the tape, level two, and understand that uh, when there is no more buyers on the tape or strong bid support, that it's time to probably leave it alone. So, VSME, way different type of daily, way different type of setup. Um, the pennies are great, guys, to me. All right, they're why are they great? Because when you learn how to trade them, they give you such crazy returns. You know, um, way different ball game than trading your other ones. So dive in back into the book real quick um, this was great because it did halt all right if you kind of see this right here see control see control this starts to get pulled pulled and buyers step in and this goes straight up into a halt okay this halted at 60 cents all right again this is what the book looks like when things hold but this did halt at 60 cents this pulled back right and if you're zoomed in like this on the book Make sure you are utilizing it correctly and being able to see that there is bigger bids that are on the book. Bigger bids can potentially throw off the current order book, and you're going to have more support down there, right? And then if you got in-between bids that come in, right, 
in between bids right? or spoofs or to me this is algo when algo starts to kick in there's not a lot of selling on the book right uh, some more control all right control right here right here all right this is still not breaking down and now hovering over a previous area all right this is a to me this is a previous area of interest right here there's really no true breakdown or this offer is not being walked down on it all right uh, there's gonna be a lot of examples that you're gonna be able to see of names that are uh, becoming backside and then you're gonna see offers and 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 asks on your level two okay uh, but uh, on the book pertaining to offers or upper liquidity you're gonna see them start to being pushed down in the book and, and help drive that price action back down okay uh, that did not happen this started to squeeze this was really great too um, let me see another spot right here. This is a, another previous area of interest. A nice hold on this. Breaking through, swiping liquidity. And you're going to see this open pocket right here. Okay. This is open. All right. This is pulling back to a previous area, 64 cents. 64 cents was a nice, nice area to re-add. All right. Uh, this did squeeze and tapped until 86, 87 cents. This was a phenomenal trade. All right. Uh, backside, let's see. Right now. Um, you know, this could potentially have some more room in it, you know, they're trying to control over here. If buyers potentially step up, you know, I don't know, um, to be honest with you on this one, you know, let's could see and wait, right. And see what happens later. If you do have the book, if you don't have the book, that's cool. Uh, you, you probably won't know. Um, but right now they pulled this offer. So if this, if buyers do step up right here. Right, some some sellers were absorbed. They threw in some bids right here, but they did spoof these. Okay, it's important to understand. Uh, they ran into this liquidity, pulled back, and now it's consolidated again. If buyers step up, this could potentially push through and try to retest these 79. It's only 14k, and then you got 30, about 31,785 cents. All right, that doesn't include two Arca and your Omni feed that used to be on here. So there's different book exchanges that you need to be aware. Of. So uh, make sure you have your level two up somewhere. So when things are popping up, and you're like, well, it's not going through. Look at level two. There might be Arca, EdgeX on there, and you, you'll be able to see them uh, control price action that way too, or hidden sellers. Okay. Uh, again, this is a beautiful play. Um, very, very important. You know, I've been studying how these algos work more than anything. How these, how they tick, how they react to a seller coming in, how they react to a buyer coming in, right? Or, you know, an open market, uh, an aggressive market buyer or market seller, right? Market buyer, market seller. Okay. So that's pretty cool on that one. Um, CYN. CYN is another one. Uh, this is, a um, you know, some good ads right here. Still trying to see if this is going to go higher or potentially become a swing. It doesn't get heavy and break down. Uh, this one's only up about 7%. So trying to look for more out of it. Maybe a potential swing. Uh, we'll see, right? Uh, stop is uh, break even right here uh, up up in the uh, 15 cents for me on this one okay this daily has been setting up okay this daily has been setting up so you know I want to see this one this had a nice window gap it's inside this window gap uh, maybe this closes above or inside of it and then we get some more continuation and then retesting this other window gap that's right here very important. So we got a window gap right there. I always make mine nice and blue. Oops. Oops. <laughs> so um, yeah, I make mine blue so I know, you know, what zones I'm trading. Somewhere daily, four hour, things like that. So it uh, almost tapped the top of it. So, you know, that's not bad so far. But uh, looking for. You know, maybe this might gap up tomorrow and, and pull some type of daily move like it did on this. Gap up really high, retest these. Or it could just be a nice slow grind all the way up. Um, we'll see. All right, a lot of volume yesterday. And a nice hammer on the daily. A nice sideways consolidation. So this tried to stuff, and then it pretty much looked like to me like it just soaked more as it came down. So we'll see on this one. But uh, VSME, guys, 145%. Let's go. Uh, keep grinding. Keep studying. Much love, guys. Peace out.